life is getting really, really insane. I have so many things I'm supposed to be doing that I figured I'd take you guys along with me, almost like a behind the scenes of my work day, but also just how I keep my life organized, basically, like an organizing video. So. Hello, hello, hello. It is currently Monday and life is getting really, really insane. I have so many things I'm supposed to be doing. We have some trips coming up. We've got my tutoring going on. I have so many videos that I'm posting, organizing, creating, a lot of reels, and just so many ideas going on that I figured I'd take you guys along with me, almost like a behind the scenes of my work day, but also just how I keep my life organized, basically, like an organizing video. So if you are in need of uh, some motivation to get yourself organized and motivate yourself to get out there and get doing stuff, I'm your gal and here's a video for you. I love watching these kinds of videos when I am working and when I am needing motivation to work. So I figured I would do this not only for myself, well, not only for you guys to help you guys gain some motivation and maybe some ideas on how to just get up and get going and get doing and go and live your life and accomplish your goals. I should come up with something better to say. But also to help me get up, get going, accomplish my goals and really just organize everything out. I find that when I type stuff up on a computer, like I have, I have this whole Google Doc that is just me whenever I get so amped up and so crazy and stir crazy and just so many mind, so many little ideas are floating through my head, I write anything and everything I can think of out onto a paper. And it's usually like motivational stuff, kind of like the stuff you've seen on my Instagram lately. And I just write it out and it helps me to just clear out my mind and kind of straighten everything and basically freeze. It's almost like, you know how gas mold, we're welcome to my science class, but you know how gas molecules, they're like bouncing around a ton and that's what makes it gas. And then liquid, it like moves a little more and then solids, it's like barely moving. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going from a gas to a solid. I've never thought of it in that way, but there you go. So I'm currently looking at my calendar. I have a ton of videos that I've been writing out and I just wanna make sure we're in order, we're going forward instead of in circles or backwards. I just wanna make sure I don't lose anything that I've got because I have so many ideas, so many things that need to be posted and are already posting that I wanna make sure nothing gets lost in the way. Somewhere in this notebook. I've used like both the back and the front. <laughs> Not the middle, just the back and the front. I have all the videos right here that I've written out a while ago of when to post them. And then I have another list of all the videos that need to be filmed. So like I started out with all the different videos that I had, all the different video ideas that I had. I just started writing them all down. And then with that list, I started writing it down on the days that it should be posted. And then I reevaluated from there, added more videos for what to film, and then added the videos down to the dates. And now my mom bought me a wonderful calendar and I'm writing down when they need to be posted. And then in my wonderful notebook, again, I'm writing down each week what needs to be filmed so that I can make sure I stay on top of it all. And all of these videos get done. Okay, I've gotten it all figured out. This is actually kind of crazy. So I still need um, about 20 more videos to film. I don't know if I've really actually talked about this very much, but for all these videos you guys have been seeing has been me right now, over the span of the last month and a half, I've been filming all these videos. So now I don't think in the videos I really talked about like when this was or like anything significant so that it was a timeless video, if that makes sense. So I basically made it so that that video could be posted whenever, right? Instead of it being, oh, this is my 19th birthday. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm obviously not growing or changing at all. So you guys have probably seen like over a hundred videos of me wearing the same five outfits or six outfits or whatever. This would be kind of nice for me because I can post and you guys can still be a part of my life. And in between those, I obviously had my mission updates and the things that I'm doing. I'm actually talking in the future. Like this, this video, I'm talking about the past, but I'm in the past currently talking about the future and the present. That's so weird. Trippy. Anyways, so I've been working my butt off in, in the videos. You guys have probably seen a bunch of tiny little clips. I have been trying really hard to get as much as we can out, and I've had a lot of people helping me as well, so thank you to everyone. 
Thank you, editors. Editors, this is for you. So yeah, I figured I would just tell you guys that because I haven't really been talking about that at all in any videos. I've been making it seem almost as if it's happening in real time, but I figured I would show you guys what's really happening and what goes into this work that I am showing you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it and it's been nice. So right now, these are all the videos that are done. These are all the videos that are being edited or need to be edited. These are all the videos that are being filmed currently and these are videos that are done that need to be sent in here. And then that's just a video that needs to be renamed. Then on top of these videos is the thumbnails. So I have a lot to do. I need to get like 20 more thumbnails done. I might actually do that too while I'm like traveling. So I'm doing that. Um, I'm getting more video ideas done. So if you guys have any video ideas you want to see or even stuff you want to see on my mission, um, comment that down below and then I'll have my parents send that to me. So let's keep working. I need to figure out some more ideas, so. My hand is starting to hurt or it's starting to like cramp because of all the writing I've done. I've just been sitting here for the past little bit. I actually just went on like Instagram. I was scrolling and then I was like, no Clay, you gotta keep getting your stuff done. I got a couple tasks done that I needed for the day. I feel like, okay, one thing that I'm probably not doing the smartest um, with is I feel like my to-do list is never ending, right? Like I can never actually accomplish everything I need to. Even if I technically get everything done in the day that I was supposed to, I'm still always like, oh, like you could have done so much more since you finished this much you should have done this and this and this and this and this when in reality I really need to just be like rewarding myself for what I have done because then it helps me to helps me to stay motivated and to keep going so note to self for your for you guys if you guys are having a ton of things you need to be doing and you are just so busy and so go 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 I really do suggest you guys first of all give yourself some off days once in a while I take off like moments I feel like so I don't take off days but I like during the day I'll take like an hour or two and I'll just sit and watch a movie or I'll just sit and do something relaxing and then at night specifically that's when I really relax and I just take a break for myself so that I can be motivated and keep going and not get so burnt out to the point where I hate what I'm doing and I never want to do it again. Oh my gosh we got it all out onto the folder so I keep moving forward. All right, you guys, I am now eating some food to eat and I'm going to watch like part of my show or something. Right. Because... I actually really want to try on some of my outfits right now. And maybe I'll give you guys a little bit of a OTD. This is the fit right now. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am actually in love. This is the cutest skirt ever. It obviously needs to be like ironed because it's still folded. It's so cute and it's super like light and loose. Obviously it has some openings right here so you can still like walk around in it, but here's the first outfit. Time for the next one. Okay, this is actually to die for. I've always wanted a jumper that kind of is more loose on the top, right? Like kind of like this, how it's like like right here, laying right here. It is so, so cute and very comfortable too. Like the material is super soft and just, I'm in love. On to the next item. Oh my gosh. The outfits just keep getting better and better. You never would think they'd get better and better, but then they do. This dress, ah! and then this little bag, just like a little like, or you could even do this and like put it in here or something. Guys, this is the cutest thing in the world. Ah, I'm in love. Okay, one last item, one item. Last but not least, this shirt. It's so cute. I love the blouse style and it's like stretchy on the outside. Not outside. It's stretchier on the side and then it's like a blouse. Oh, they're so cute. I love them to death. I hope you enjoyed that little tiny fashion show. I definitely enjoyed it. <sighs> I. I'm done with all my computer work for today. We can give ourselves a nice pat on the back. That was good. 
I just gotta let some footage upload and we're good to go. I just have a couple more videos to film today. I wrote down everything that needs to happen today. So these are the things I'm gonna film today and as I go along, I just delete them. I, today has been exhausting and I'm very excited to be done with the day and just to keep on getting all this stuff done. We're moving along. Guys, I, this is gonna be a really cool accomplishment once I'm done with it and once I can be like, Oh, I just did that. You know what I mean? I just gotta keep pushing forward. Oh, wait, actually, just kidding. I do have some stuff to do on here, so I'll see you guys in a book. I will see you guys later. <laughs> okay, it's the next day. I'm obviously shifting some footage right now. My parents just got home. Um, I was talking to them, and like having them here, it kind of like is a reset to my routine. I was talking to them, refreshing, restarting, and we came up with a new idea, something that I am working on right now. I basically just added like another really large workload to myself. Like working on them and filming these videos is not the hardest part. It's the creativeness behind it, organizing them, actually being able to get them all done. So it's the organization of it that is the biggest struggle for me. So I have this notebook that I'm writing everything in. I have papers all over the place. My desk is kind of a mess. I actually don't know who these are, but I'm definitely hanging on by a string or by a thread. The only reason why I'm still like hanging and I haven't cracked yet and I'm like steady, steadily hanging is because I organize my videos every single day. I organize my computer, all of my cards and my cameras. I organize it all, make sure it's all up to date and then I keep going. However, I am bouncing back and forth between so many different ideas and in between filming, I'm pretty sure I have five videos that are halfway done. They're not fully done. I just want to add some more things. I want to make them really perfect and it just hasn't gotten there yet. And so I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity for those, but then some of them interlap with each other and like one video can go, one idea can go here, whereas another idea can go here. It's insane. And I am like, my brain is, Oh, looking crazy. I'll show you after this is done what my brain basically looks like. But I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm complaining right now. I'm just getting a little worried for myself. But this right here is what my brain looks like, but on a computer. We're working this out. We're getting it good. I hope today to actually finish a couple videos. I need to honestly, I need to just like check, review the footage and be like, you know what? This is perfect. This is good how it is. And just be okay with it because I keep starting new videos and new ideas while other ones aren't finished. So I'm kind of just hectic. I'm not going from A to C. I'm going A to Z to X to B to W to back to A, then back to D, and then let's restart and let's start with F, H, G, and W. Those are not in order. <laughs> so we are going to accomplish this. When I, oh my gosh, when I leave for my mission and everything is ready and I am able to go, you know what? I am good to let this go. I'm about to cry. Wow. I don't, it isn't hitting me yet. The like, I'm leaving. This is like my baby. My YouTube channel and all of this stuff is my baby. And I'm, I am basically up and leaving everything, right? And I'm willing to do that. And I know that I will be so blessed for that. But whew, I am so scared, if I'm being honest. This is gonna be great. The things I put in for my YouTube channel. I just, I love what I do. I love creating. I love seeing you guys love what I'm doing. However, it's been really hard when my views are so down that I'm not getting repaid for the effort I'm putting forth. Does that make sense? Anyways, I have a plan. I have what I need to do next. We're gonna go and get that stuff done so I can keep moving forward and I can focus all my time in on this new project that I have going on, so. I'm so excited. We did it. I just got a little heart to heart felt with the crammer. Just kidding. Um, in that video. That video is actually going to be really exciting. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. But we finished that. We're going to add that in. We're going to get that going and be done. This, this right here, being able to move this footage over into a different section makes me so happy and gives me a new little bit of energy and motivation to keep going. So this is your guys' sign to uh, go find new things to like motivate you and energize you. Like be aware of those things that do that because honestly, it can help you so much with being able to just keep going, right? Because you can't live off of just one motivator, right? One thing that's like, oh, music motivates me. Well, when you're say like in class and you need motivation and you can't listen to music, you're gonna need to find new ones. Or just when music isn't motivating you, you gotta find new ones. So we are always moving. We're always approving, improving, not approving. Always improving, always adjusting. That's just how life is, so. 
Hello, beautiful people. It is currently Monday. I'm still just working my butt off. But I wanted to get on here because it's been really weird the past couple of days. I've gotten super in my head and just really hard with myself because I set this huge expectation and I have just not been fulfilling it the way I thought I would. Actually, no, I've been succeeding it and doing fantastic. At the beginning when I was planning everything out, I was gonna only film three videos a week. Now I'm filming like seven. And if I don't get seven or I get like six and not like eight or nine, then I'm like, Clay, seriously, you could have done so much better. You had all of this extra time. I think when I look back on my week, I realize all the time that I still had or like when I dawdled and I get so hard on myself because I'm always pushing to be perfect and I need to not do that. Let me just clarify. I'm not pushing to become perfect because other people are telling me to. It's because I am so hard on myself. So I'm trying really hard to just balance this and just really like, I talked to my mom about it. I had a breakdown with her. I just started crying. I was like, mom, like, I feel like I'm not good enough. But like for myself, like you guys tell me I'm great. And like my friends are telling me like, wow, you're doing amazing. But I just, for myself, I don't feel like I'm doing good enough. And so I, this is in the mind of a perfectionist, you know? And I'm still working on this because it's kind of like the song, I will never be satisfied. I realized that, like, I actually am that way. I can't, I'm never satisfied. I'm never like, oh my gosh, Clay, like you did so good. There's always more to do. There's always something else I can be working on. There's always something I can be moving forward with, which is, I guess, healthy to a certain extent. But I just have gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm not good enough. I'm not... I just wanted to tell you guys this just because talking to you guys really helps me and maybe I can like just bring awareness to this and show like that other people struggle with this too if you're struggling with this. Um, I think it was so crazy when like I was struggling with something and I felt like I was the only one because no one like would talk about it. I felt like I was the only one. I felt isolated and when I realized other people are struggling with things that I'm struggling with, it was like, oh, okay, like not that this is normal, but like it's okay, you know? It's okay not to be okay. I think it's great that everyone's working on mental health a little more. But I've been doing so much better. I'm actually quite proud of myself. Like, look at everything I've gotten done. That's a lot of stuff. So many things. And I just filmed two videos today for my channel. This is actually the third one. And then I also filmed three videos for my family's channel. So honestly, I need to give myself, I need to cut myself some slack and I need to tell myself like, good job, Clay, because I feel good. So this is your little POV to tell yourself that you're doing good and tell yourself that it's okay, you know? It's okay not to completely accomplish everything right right away. It's great to strive towards it and to be working towards it, but it's okay if you just take a minute, you know? Wow, look at me, Ted talking it up. Anywho, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys you guys are doing great. And I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. Things have been, been going pretty well, so yeah. We'll see you guys later.